Hey friends, we are here today to talk about Cricut Easy Iron Vinyl Facts. Now, iron on vinyl has scared me. I think I've talked before about burning things when I've tried other vinyl brands, but Cricut really makes Easy Iron on Vinyl easy, which is why they call it Easy Iron on Vinyl. But today I wanna show you all the multitude of different kinds of vinyl they have and how you could use it in your different projects. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so this is the Easy Everyday Iron on Vinyl. It's the vinyl you're very familiar with. Um, it has a bit of a shine to it, but not super shiny. It comes in tons of different colors. They even have these sampler packs, which is kind of a cool thing because then you can, you know, just get a little bit of a color you only need a little bit of. Um, these are kind of the girly colors. I'm sure that's not what it's called. They've got some gold, but it's not a real shiny gold. It's more of a matte gold. I, of course, have lots of black and more different kinds of gold because gold's my signature color, friends. So that is the everyday iron on vinyl. Super easy to use, super easy to use, especially with your um, easy press. Love it. This is what I used in my last shirt and it did so awesome. Okay, from there we go to different kinds of vinyl and these are the foils. So foil, this has the wrapper taken off. It's still very shiny. This is gonna look great um, in shiny projects like they show you on the front of the vinyl. This is gold, this is a rose gold. So that's kind of fun that they have those two options. And then this one has kind of a variety of colors. We've got red, blue, purple, green. Foil comes in lots of different colors, but it's just one straight shine of foil. All right, and these are the holographic colors. Now, I just pulled out some holographic to use on my t-shirt today. It does feel a little bit thicker, um, and it's a little bit see-through. So we're gonna see how that works on my shirt today. I've actually never used it before, so, but I'm kind of excited. And um, you know, if you're a big crafter, you understand the difference between holographic and foil just because it kind of has an A-B effect. Then they also have holographic um, sparkle. So the difference between this and the glitter, which we'll see in just a second, is this has a flat finish. You're not gonna feel, it'll just feel like regular vinyl versus the holographic or the glitter foil is gonna have a textured finish. So it's just a nice flat finish. They didn't have a sampler pack of these, so I just got a few of uh, different colors, but they have lots of different colors that you can choose between. Okay, and this is the glitter iron-on. I, again, I've had some shirts made for me with this stuff from my friend Katie from Clark's Condense made me one. Um, and it does have a glittery feel, kind of like you just put glue and put glitter on it. So if that kind of texture bothers you, you might wanna think about the holographic foil instead. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference in the light, but um, this one has a textured finish, kind of like sandpaper, and this one has a smooth finish. The holographic is smooth, glitter is a bit textured, and um, I think this one's a little bit thicker as well. But I'm gonna try both different kinds and we'll find out after my project's done. These are the uh, Sport Flex iron-on, and so it just um, is meant for bathing suits, yoga pants, super stretchy material like that. Um, a lot of tops, you know those tops that are meant for working out? That was probably what I would use this for. It's got a stretch to it, I've never used it, but it seems amazing, I've heard lots of good things about that, and it's kind of exciting that you could put it on sportswear, um, where the other stuff will might be too inflexible to use it in that type of situation. And speaking of sports, they have a mesh iron-on. So this is pretty cool. I did peel up just a little bit of this to kind of feel how the mesh felt. It's very light, um, lighter than the other glitters and stuff like that. So I think that's really fun for a sports motif or something like that. This is a fun, different kind of a iron-on effect. Finally, we have the pattern iron-on. I have Hello Kitty, hello. There's lots of different Hello Kitty patterns within this, it's not just this one. Um, and then I have this black and white one. What I have heard about these is that the transfer paper, the transfer sheet is not as sticky. So you have to be careful when you're weeding these so that you don't pull up the whole thing because the transfer paper just isn't the same, probably so that it doesn't take off that beautiful pattern. And then finally, this isn't um, iron-on vinyl, but it is a protectant sheet. And so if you're using multiple layers of different kinds of vinyl, you can put this over the whole project so that it doesn't end up sticking to your easy press or whatever you're using it for. So not vinyl but just kind of a fun thing to use on the side. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be using the holographic, the glitter, and some basic, hmm, what else should I use? I don't know. I'm gonna try a lot of different th things on a different t-shirt so we can kind of see the different textures and the different variety and see if it works all together. I am the kind of person who wants to use every single piece of glitter that's on this table in one shirt. That probably isn't the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna give it a try with just a few different types and we'll let you know how it works. Okay guys, one of the awesome tips is that the design space 
will show you kind of how much vinyl you need. This is for the little sloth's face. And then you can just set out that amount here so it's really easy to utilize your scraps. And then once it's done cutting, kind of hard to see here, but you can just cut off this extra material and use it again next time. A few things to remember, make sure shiny, shiny side always goes down, make sure to mirror. And I also have this brayer that's come in handy. It said it was for fabric, but I really like it on the vinyl. Okay guys, here's a problem you might end up having too. Um, on the holographic, it's kind of hard to tell maybe which is the shiny side, but you definitely want to weed from the dull side. And I love this tool. Um, it makes it so much easier. I didn't used to have this and it just makes weeding so much easier. And on this one, I was super worried, but I just peeled it up. This guy um, helps to kind of pick a side up. It'll also help in these um, small areas in here. Um, and then I just ripped it off and it totally worked. One of my big tips when you're ironing on vinyl is to use chalk. I literally just stole my daughters from outside because these are all gonna kinda have to come off separately and iron differently because of all the different uh, iron on temperatures. And so that makes it so I can place it where I wanted it when I'm done. And then I, I took the time to go to the easy press and write down the temperature and how long and if it's cold or warm press because this is a little bit complicated trying to do all these different ones. So I'm starting with the one that takes the most temperature which is the glitter on this guy and then um, I'll just move down from there and press the other ones. Okay, let's get going. Another tip is to kind of crease your vinyl. I mean, don't do a full, but I just crease especially the transfer tape um, you can tell I kind of did that right here and that way um, I marked the middle with chalk on my thing too so that it's easier to kind of get it centered when you're doing several things like I am on this shirt. Okay guys, a quick tip on weeding. I think it helps if you start close to where your edge is. It's easier to pick it up there and get started and then I usually kind of break a little bit and then just pull it off. Weeds really easily after that. Also make sure that your thing is on the table when you go to weed. If it's like up in the air and I've tried to do this and then you know it could kill me. So this only on the table. I'm sure this is just like a hygienist pick. Super easy. Anyway, saved my life today. Makes weeding easy. Hey guys, I wanted to show you the finished products. So they're all the same shirt just with different vinyl and stuff like that. I wanted to tell you guys on this one, I was really concerned about, cause we've got foil, glitter, regular. So what I did is I did the glitter at the, uh, it's like 330, something like that. Check before you do it. And then I did the regular cause that's 315. And then I did foil cause it's even lower. So um, that's how I ended up doing it. I, I had a hard time getting this, the regular to stick. So it needed the full 30 seconds and then make sure it cools off a little bit before you peel it. And then um, I did again, I let the whole shirt cool, especially the letters. And then I did the foil um, again for the full 30 seconds. Then I, it's a cold peel, so I left it. I worked on that other shirt. And then when it was totally cool, I peeled that and then did on the back side, which is what they recommend for 15 seconds. So it turned out pretty cute. I think my daughter is really gonna like it. Okay, moving on to this one. This is mine, and um, this is all holographic. So this is the holographic glitter. This is just straight holographic. This is actually regular, I'm sorry. That's not holographic. Uh, glitter, holographic. I love how those letters came out. It looks like kind of all liquidy. So I'm definitely gonna get some more of the holographic because I really like how that turned out. Anyway, that's how that is. Um, and I do have a little pucker right here and I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it shrunk. I swear the pucker wasn't there when I started. So who knows, right? Okay, final one. This one is regular black. This is the regular gold and it shrunk a little bit. You see how the opening for this face, I did this second, the white guy second, and I did this guy first and I feel like it all kind of shrunk a little bit. If you look at it closely, you can kind of see some wrinkles. Luckily, no one will be looking at us that closely. Um, regular, again, the gold reg, uh, iron on. It's just the gold everyday iron on, and you can see that it's not super shiny. It's just kind of a sloth color, so it's actually quite perfect. But as I was looking at these, it's kind of interesting 
to compare the foils. So let's do that really quickly. Quick side note, you guys. I was just noticing this is the vinyl before I put it on the shirt and there it is on the shirt and clearly it changes depending on how you view it because that's kind of how holographic is. But I be really thoughtful when you put this holographic stuff on because I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see, see my fingers through them. It will definitely show the thing that's behind it. And I thought that that would make this bluer, but in this side it really looks redder. But then, you know, if you go this way, it looks greener. I wonder if you go this way, uh, like yellow again. Anyway, just something to think about on the holographic vinyl. So essentially these are all gold um, Cricut iron on vinyl. So this is the gold everyday gold holographic. I don't know if that's gold holographic, but it does look kind of gold. And this is the gold foil. And I wanted to come in kind of for a closer view. You can tell that this is shiny, but this is definitely shinier. looks more liquidy. And then this guy, a very dull, just a different, different look. So regular holographic shiny, and that might give you an idea next time before you do it, like what you would prefer to do. So I actually ended up liking the shirt I made for myself the most, which is the way it should be, right? Um, but these are for, I'm going to a little craft blogging conference called Snap, and so I made these shirts for that. But I also made them to kind of show you guys how to do different kinds of iron on. Um, and I think this did a good job of that. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope everyone else gets to be a sloth too.